Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video, I'd like to continue on in our video series in regard to creating a skewed roof. And uh, what I'd like to do in this video is uh, begin the trimming process on, on that roof. So what we've done up to now is we've taken, uh, we've put the roof on. We've taken um, the walls and uh, attached them to the top and I switched some of the walls around that were misplaced in the other video. But when I was doing it, I noticed that the roof over here really doesn't have a whole lot of overhang. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim this. And if we go to edit profile, it gives us the ability to maybe stretch it out a little bit. Probably press a check mark there and see what that looks like. But uh, let's go to um, let's go to our south elevation just to be sure that we have that right. We want to make sure it's not cutting through the uh, through the wall. We want to make sure it's uh, within these two level boundaries. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and uh, edit that profile one more time and let's bring this magenta line up so it's uh, above the wall level but uh, below or above our roof level but below this level up here which is what we're going to be using as a reference plane so green check mark we should be set to go let's go to our 3d view and check that in the back make sure that looks good which it does all right let's go to our level five view and begin the trim and the way you do this is you go to the vertical uh, trim vertical opening button on the opening palette on the home tab. Let's go ahead and click on that. What it's asking for is a uh, you know basically a floor, roof, ceiling, or a soffit to create a vertical opening. If you look down here in the status bar. So we're going to click our roof and we're going to try to try to look for a surface underneath that. And I don't don't really see the you know, see the the surfaces underneath that in regard to the walls that we're going to be using to trim from. So let's see if we can get that back into view. Right now, let's get the properties for the roof opening cut that we're about in the middle of. But you could also choose a uh, our floor plan. Uh, pick up the properties there. So the underlay. Let's see if we can pick up the first floor underlay. There we go. Now what what's missing over the first floor underlay is the roof itself. We really don't need that right now. But more than anything else, we do need to have. Uh, if we want to have that two foot overhang around uh, consistently around the edge of the house, we do need to have uh, the walls showing here. So let's just draw a rectangle around here. Take each one of these lines and maybe make an adjustment to it so it's two feet. Remember with the tab key, we can get to the exterior of that wall. Make that two feet. Same thing here. With the tab key, grab that uh, grip on that um, dimension and we can click on the dimension itself and make that two feet and so on and so forth for the other ones. Kind of tedious a little bit but it does get us exactly what we want. So tab key here and then two feet. And if we go to the green check mark detach target. So highlight walls are attached to but miss the highlighted target. So what it's doing is it's taking off all those uh, all those roof extensions that we just did. So we're going to detach the targets at least for now and then take a look at that. So the first floor underlay, let's go ahead and look at the second floor and see what we have. If we go to the 3D view, oh man, that's one ugly roof and it's getting uglier by the minute. What we need to do here is actually trim it to the outside. And that's a little tricky. So I'm going to reverse my steps a little bit and save that for the next film.